What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you guys to a new photo editing software called Luminar 3, which is being called the Lightroom Killer. But if you close your eyes... So since the launch of Luminar 3, this program has really started stirring the pot in the photo editing world. It boasts both a Lightroom-esque sort of catalog, has powerful editing tools, and it is super simple to use. And the number one reason is it gets rid of that Adobe-based subscription fees. So you go to a one-time fee rather than a monthly fee. So for this video, I want to walk you guys through the features and main selling points of this program. That way you guys get a better understanding of what this program has to offer and if it's something you guys want to try or pick up. So let's jump into the program. I'm going to start with their number one selling feature, Accent AI 2.0. So when you guys first bring in a photo into Luminar to be edited, you guys are going to be met with the workspace quick and awesome, which you guys can adjust and bring on different ones down here. There's many, which is professional, which is the one I'm going to go over later. Quick and awesome, essential, aerial, black and white, landscape, portrait and street, or you can create your own. So let's go with the quick and awesome for now, because that's where your main accent AI filter 2.0 is going to be. So with the Accent AI 2.0, it's gonna make a dozen adjustments on its own behind the scenes, which is gonna to fix tone, detail, exposure, depth, and color, and more without you really having to do much, but adjust this slider right here. So let's go ahead and bring that over to the right to 100%, and you guys can quickly see how that photo is taken on a whole new life, and it's honestly almost done already. So if you guys go up here to this little eyeball, or you guys press the backslash on your keyboard, you guys can see the before and the after. And like I said, that photo is almost already done and it looks already pretty good. So let's jump into their number two selling feature, AI Sky Enhancement. So to show you guys a little bit about the AI Sky Enhancement, you guys are gonna see it underneath the AI filter. You're gonna see it right here. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna bring this one up a little bit, kind of adjust the photo a little bit. Let's go with something like that. And then I'm gonna to start to move my AI Sky Enhancer. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna adjust anywhere where the sky is gonna be and really make those clouds pop. So let's bring that right up. And you guys can see that those clouds take on a whole new world. So again, let's go with the backslash. And you guys can see that those clouds are a whole new thing. Now let's get rid of this AI auto filter. You can either do that by moving it back down or if you guys wanna see something without it, just click on the little eyeball right here and you guys can see how much of a difference that really has. So let's bring it off and I'm gonna show you guys just the filter on the sky. And you guys can see that it really makes that blue pop. So that brings us to our number three feature, the erase tool. So let's say I wanna get rid of this little handle right here and I'm in Lightroom. What I have to do is bring the photo into Photoshop first, edit that out, bring it back into Lightroom and then edit my photo. Well, with this program here, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your tool panel right here. You're going to go over to erase. It's going to open up a new area. You're going to go over to your lasso. You're going to create a box around that spot that you want to erase. So let's create that really quickly. And again, I'm doing this nice and quickly, guys. So let's not horribly on that. So there we go. You're going to go subtract. And you're going to click done. Then you're going to allow the program to get rid of it itself. And just like that, you guys don't even notice that it was there. So that's gonna bring us to our next one. What we're gonna do again is we're gonna to go to our professional panel. We're gonna to go to add filter and we're gonna add in sun rays. So you're gonna see it down at the very bottom down here because it added it down there. And you guys will actually see that it added this guy right there. So what you can do is you can actually place center and you can actually move it to where you think that sun was supposed to be. So let's say right about there. And then you can actually adjust the amount or the intensity. So let's go with a little bit right there. You change the look up so you can go that way or that way. So let's go right about there. The numbers, so you can add more of the rays or less of the rays. So let's add right about there. The length, you can make them more or less. I want to make it just about there, kind of make her glow on the outside edge there. And you can change your warmth to really warm or not so warm. So let's match the photo a little bit. Right about there. You can go to overall penetration. That'll actually see how much is coming through that building sort of thing. So let's go with right about there. 
And let's go up to that other spot where we were talking about the AI filter. And let's do a quick adjustment on there. Just a little bit. Let's bring up our shadows just a tiny bit. Let's bring down our highlights just a little bit. And let's bring back some clarity just a tiny bit right there. And let's cool that photo off just a tiny bit, like one. So here's your before without anything. And here's your after. As you guys can see, adding that sun really enhances that photo. Then applied with that Accent AI filter really makes something that is gonna really stand out on, on anywhere you post this. So let's jump into number five, golden hour. So let's do a couple things here really quickly. We're gonna add in a filter. We're gonna go down to sun rays. We're gonna add our sun into this guy here. So we're gonna go position on that. We're gonna put it over here where it should be. Then we're gonna bring our amount um, down just a tiny bit. Our look down a little bit. Our radius, let's bring him down a little bit and let's bring him just a little bit more over there. And then let's leave that guy. And then let's go over to our golden hour. Let's add that in. And let's bring that up just a tiny bit. Let's say right about there. Bring our saturation down a little bit. So let's turn off both of them. Let's turn off our sun rays and let's turn off our golden hour. So when I turn on my golden hour, it looks good and doesn't look too bad. But when you add in the sun rays, it really makes the effect look like this was taken with the sun there, with the golden hour, and it honestly makes it look beautiful. So for this one, I just wanna show you guys quickly how easy this program is to use and how it's gonna have your photos edited quicker and it's gonna be simpler. So let's jump into this photo right here and I'm gonna move over to my professional workspace. I'm gonna raise up my temperature just a tiny bit, let's say four. I'm gonna go over to my AI filter, bring that guy up a little bit. I'm gonna bring up my sky enhancer just a little bit. I'm gonna bring up my denoise just a tiny bit, let's say right there. Color just a little bit. Then I'm gonna bring down my highlights just a little bit. Raise my shadows a tiny, tiny bit. Let's raise clarity up. Let's say two looks pretty good there. Then I'm gonna come down to here. I'm gonna come down to my curves. I'm gonna put a basic S curve into it. So lower there and higher there. Then I'm gonna come down here and this is where I can really sort of add her a tan. I'm gonna go over to my luminancy. I'm gonna go over to my yellows, bring that down just a little bit. Bring down my curves, or sorry, my oranges just a tiny bit, let's say five. Looks pretty good, let's look at a quick before and a quick after. So I don't like how that sky is a little bit yellow if you guys can see from this one to this one. So let's go over to my spit, or I'm sorry, my split tone. I'm gonna to bring over this guy to my blue and as you guys can see the color is changing here. Let's go right there and add a little bit back into the highlights. Not too, too much, just a little bit there. Then I'm gonna come over to my bottom. I'm gonna add in some orange. So just a little bit, let's say one or two there. So let's look at it before and let's look at it after. So that was what? Maybe 30 seconds of editing and my photo's done. Where in Lightroom, I'd have to be going through all my HSL panels. I'm gonna have to adjust each one as you guys have seen in many of my other videos. And honestly, it doesn't even look as good as this half the time. So let's go over to a different photo real quick. I'm gonna go over to this one right here where it's gonna be really difficult to get going and really start to use. So I've already applied the quick AI filter. So let's get rid of that real quick. Let's get rid of that. Let's go over to my professional. Zoom into normal so it's not so blurry. Now for this one, what I wanna do is I wanna add a golden hour because it should be a little bit warmer than what it's looking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my temperature just a little bit. Just, let's say four. I'm gonna go over to add filter. I'm gonna go over to golden hour. I'm gonna have that guy at the bottom, but I'm not gonna to touch it so much yet. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up my AI filter a little bit. Bring up my sky enhancer just a tiny bit. Then I'm gonna go down to my golden hour. I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit. Let's say right about there. Bring down my saturation just a tiny bit. And then let's go over and add that tan back in. 
like I usually do. Sorry, let's go right here. Let's go over to Luminancy. Let's bring down this guy. And let's bring down my orange. Just a little bit. Let's bring down some saturation too. Bam. Bam. And let's add in an S curve real quick. This time we're going to do an opposite. I'm going to go high there. And I'm going to bring you down right about there. So let's look at a quick before and a quick after. So as you guys can see, this program is actually pretty simple to use and it's probably going to save you guys a ton of headaches, especially when it comes to fine tuning colors. So instead of going through the old way of adjusting all the HSLs and trying to find that perfect combination to get her skin right or to get that red perfect, you can use the Accent AI feature and then just go in and fine tune some coloring just bare minimally and get that photo perfect. But let's say you guys are a little bit skeptical of this program and you guys want to give it a try, I'll leave a link down below where you guys can pick up this program on a free three week trial and then I'll also leave a promo code where you guys can save $10 off the purchase if you guys decide to pick it up. If you guys do pick it up or you guys decide to pick it up on the trial, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this program and if it's worth it for anyone else to try. So if you guys found this video helpful at all, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button and until the next time, take care everybody.